Welcome to Brave Night News. Today is Monday, February 4th, the beginning of National Councils Week. I am Zach. And I'm Beans. Today's announcements include guidance and club announcements. Need monkey for college? Want to know more about scholarships, grants, and loans, and most importantly, how to get one? Students and parents should join us for a presentation and light refreshments during Financial Aid Night. This Thursday, February 7th in B Commons at 6 p.m. Teachers, please post the Financial Aid Night flyers posted in your boxes. Last year, over a quarter of a million students qualified for late federal grants and did not lay apply for them. Let's change that this year. Please stand by for this Black History Tribute on Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, one of the world's best-selling music artists, debuted at the age of 22 with three number one singles. Her second album, titled Whitney, in 1987, delivered four more number one hits and earned Whitney Houston her first Grammy. This incredible artist, actress, producer, and model was born on August 9th in 1963 in New Jersey. Whitney started singing in the choir at New Hope Baptist Church under the direction of her mother, Sissy Houston. By the time she turned 15, Whitney performed often with her mother. Around the same time, she soon became an extremely sought-after teenage model. She was one of the first African-American women to appear on the cover of Seventeen magazine. Houston won a Grammy in 1986 for Saving All My Love For You. Whitney reached the height of her career in 1992 with The Bodyguard. The movie soundtrack went number one. The cover of Dolly Parton's 1974, I Will Always Love You, proved to be Houston's biggest hit ever. It spent a record-breaking 14 weeks atop the U.S. charts. The soundtrack album went on to win Houston three Grammys, including Album of the Year and Record of the Year. Many may remember Whitney Houston's rocky marriage to Bobby Brown. Some may remember that she starred in The Preacher's Wife and Waiting to Exhale. But far more people remember her singing the national anthem at the 1991 Super Bowl. And most people remember her singing, I Will Always Love You. Wow, what an impact she had on the world with her voice. And now, over to Brave Zach. And now over to sports. Please stop what you are doing in the observance of the minute of silence. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs>